Yeah. Gonna pick up here, Johnny? You know, I've been trained to believe that there is a head chef and he's sort of the despot of the kitchen, the number one ruler. That's the way it's always been. That's the way I was trained. That is something that I don't want in my place. Okay. Come on, guys. The Saturday Night Project was a, a sort of reaction against that. It was sort of a, the anti-robotic chef move. It is a training camp for, for intuition and, and the sharpening of our sensibilities. Yeah, if they served me this in a three-star restaurant, I, would, uh, I wouldn't blink. Bravo. Thank you, Kalan. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we have um, pig's ears here. They've been cooked for about 12 hours now. So I have two presentations. That I, I call it the grotesque one, because it's just plain ear. You can see the ear channel and everything, but that's my favorite, because you can actually identify your favorite part of the ear. But, <laughs> which okay, for okay, me, okay, okay. Can I ask if there's any other in this room right now, currently, that has a favorite part of the year? No. <laughs> no? Pigs here. Not every year. And over here we have it um, just slightly chopped. They're all being caramelized a little bit. There you go. Enjoy. Okay. Fatty, juicy, cartilage part of the pig ear. Here you go. Yeah. Well. Shit. That. <laughs> That's really, really, really good. That's a dangerous bowl. Yeah. For how many of you is the first time you ever eat in the year? How many is the first time that you like in the year? I gotta put my hands up on that one. Too. I've never really enjoyed eating ear. This is so good. Like, so good, huh? See? Even the Spanish guy says yeah. yes. <laughs> okay, let's clear up. Who's next? Beef tartare. We've been aging for 21 days in the fridge upstairs. How many love this dish? No? Why not? Very tasty, indeed. But um, I think we could use a bit of sharpness. Yeah, yeah. For sure. In this case, I really like it's very pure, but I think it would be even purer. And even more sharp and sort of clear in the dressing if you had Worked it a bit more together, but definitely fucking good. Thanks, so All right, who's next? All right, what do you have for us, Mina? Um, I wanted to do something with apples and hazelnuts and kale. A kale dessert. All right. Well, that's a first for anything. All right, so every time we taste something that we never had before, it's oh, you always really, you should always expect like a reaction. Yeah, no, you put yourself on the limb, huh? yeah. because you could have made a caramel ice cream with raisins, and everybody would have cheered right now, but you choose a cabbage dessert. So that's really putting yourself out there. You, you are, are totally challenging everything that people think about dessert-wise. <laughs> um, so, having that said, how many like this dish? Chef, <clears throat> you got guts. Like, super guts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, five years ago, kale was like horse food. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> seriously, it's only in the last three years that people actually started eating kale around the world. And now it's in desserts because of you. That's cool. Let's work more on it. Thank you. Okay, let's clean up. <clears throat> Go up and change and then drink your beers.